What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we are looking at wiring configurations for two DVC 4 ohm subwoofers. So I have two subwoofers here, let's quickly check the resting impedance at each terminal with our multimeter. 4.2, 4.2 as well, 4.2 again. And finally, the last voice coil, 4.2. So let's talk about the first wiring configuration, which is the most common, and that's parallel wiring. This is a fairly simple wiring to do. We just go from the positive of this voice coil to the positive of the opposite voice coil, then to the next subwoofer, we'll go to the next positive terminal, and finally to the last positive terminal, and then straight into our positive leads on our enclosure box. And then we're going to do the same exact thing with the negative. So we're going negative to negative, to negative to negative, and then straight into our negative speaker wire. All right, so let's start wiring. We're going to start with all the positive terminals. I'm going to grab some speaker wire, go directly into voice coil number one on this subwoofer. Then before I go directly into the next terminal over here, I'm going to grab a jumper cable and I'm gonna twist these together. Now I'm going to go directly into this positive terminal. Now before I go into the first positive terminal on the other subwoofer, I grab another wire and I'm gonna twist these to each other. Then I go right in to this positive terminal over here. Then we just have to go into our last positive terminal over here. Before I do that, I grab the positive wires that are running directly into my enclosure box. I twist those together. Then I run that into my final positive terminal. So all I did was positive, positive, to positive, to positive. We're going to do the same exact thing with our negative terminal. I'm gonna run right into my negative terminal over here. Now remember, before I go directly in, I want to attach my jumper cable so you get it nice and connected, but directly into our negative terminal over here. Then, before I go directly into this terminal, I want another jumper cable. I'm gonna twist them to each other. Then I'm going to go into this terminal over here. And now before I attach the final piece of the wire into my last voice coil over here, I'm going directly into my negative wire speaker leads, twist them nice and tight, and then we go right in to the remaining terminal over here. So if we go to our enclosure box terminals, and I actually probe it, you can see on our multimeter, we're right at 1.1 ohms. Now the amp that is recommended for this type of configuration is any amp that is capable of running the rated powers of both subwoofers at one ohm. A common application is to use a one ohm stable mono amplifier. Now it is important to note, if you are trying to run this wiring configuration for these subwoofers of a two ohm stable mono amplifier, it could send that amplifier into protect mode. So this is a very common wiring problem that people run into but don't worry I'm going to show you now how to fix that with our next wiring configuration which is series parallel. In a quick overview what we're going to be doing is starting with connecting voice coil 1's positive terminal to the voice coil 2's negative terminal on each subwoofer. Then with the remaining open terminals we're going to run them in parallel so positive to positive negative to negative. So I take a jumper cable over here I go right into the positive terminal. Then on the opposite voice coil, I go right into the negative terminal. Same thing over here. I go positive terminal into the negative terminal on the opposite voice coil. Now what we have to do is connect the subwoofers to each other into our enclosure box in parallel. Very straightforward, you go positive to positive and negative to negative. Going into this open terminal over here, positive. Then on the other side, I'm going to go into the positive terminal over here, but before I do that, I'm going to also twist it onto the positive speaker wire that's running on the positive terminals of my enclosure box. Then I run that right in to the remaining positive terminal over here. We're going to do the same exact thing on the negative terminals. I'm gonna take my negative wire, go right into my negative terminal over here. So what I have to do now is take this negative speaker wire over here and the negative speaker wire that's running to my enclosure box leads, twist them together, and that's gonna go into the final negative terminal over here. So let's check the impedance with our multimeter at our terminals, which is what the amp is going to see. You can see it's right hovering between 4.3 and 4.2 ohms. 
which is essentially four ohms. So when you have your subs wired in this configuration, you can use any amplifier that is capable of running the subwoofer's rated powers at four ohms. A very common application is to use a two channel amp in bridge mode. But another really great application is to use a two ohm stable monoblock amplifier that is capable of running the subwoofer's rated powers at four ohms. So when you use this application, your amp is going to be running a lot cooler with greater efficiency, saving your car battery. You're also going to hear increased sound quality because your amp is running so cool. Now let's talk about something else. So some dual enclosure boxes have multiple sets of terminals. Also some one channel mono amplifiers have multiple sets of speaker terminals where you can wire your subwoofers directly to and it'll parallel at the amp itself. For example, if I have a mono amplifier that has two sets of speaker terminals and I have a dual enclosure box that has two sets of terminals itself, the wiring is going to be the same for each subwoofer on each side and it's as follows. So you're going to take a speaker wire use it as a jumper to run each subwoofer in series so you're going to go from positive terminal over here into the negative terminal on the opposite side then you're going to take the wire leads coming from your speaker enclosure box and match them up so from the positive terminal we're going to the positive and the negative wire lead you're going to the negative terminal so you're going to do this wiring on each subwoofer for each side. So if I probe either of the speaker box enclosure terminals, I should get around an eight ohm load. Now out of each of the enclosure box terminals, we're going directly into the speaker terminals on the amplifier where the parallel is happening. So it's taking both of the eight ohm loads and bringing them down in parallel to a final four ohm load. Now there is another wiring configuration that I wanna talk about. I'll show you the diagram right here. This is series wiring. This is not a very common wiring configuration because of the amount of power that you will lose from your amplifier to your speakers when you run them in this way. In fact, if you feel like you're not getting the amount of power you want out of your setup, you might have your subwoofers wired in this configuration. So double check with the other wirings we did at the beginning of this video to make sure you're not wired in series. I hope you guys found this video helpful and how to wire two DVC four ohm subwoofers. As always guys, I am Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.